Hello everyone and welcome back to Set and BPI. My name is Pidi Diana if you are new here and I like to make videos on lifestyle based on experiences that I've gone through throughout my high school, college and currently adult life. So if you're interested in those kind of videos, go ahead and click that subscribe button and let's get started. Today it's a very spontaneous video like this is not scripted at all so I'm gonna have a hard time editing this video but recently I've been so obsessed with this one trend and normally I'm not really big on following trends I don't know I'm just not really on social media so I don't really follow social media trends either but considering that I am on YouTube I did my transformation wardrobe video I realized something so you already read the title of this video so you already know what's coming up but basically I've been very very obsessed with the whole academia 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 I'm not exactly sure I think it's pronounced academia but like my Spanish is like telling me no it's academia but <laughs> I've been really obsessed with this style and this aesthetic and the reason for this is because I already had this like aesthetic going on kind of thing going on and I'm not talking about just like the fashion I'm talking about more of like what it actually is and I'll go into like what academia or academia is especially like the one that's trending right now which is dark academia but the reason why I also wanted to make this is because a friend had pointed out to me like I think I know what your style is and she had like mentioned to me various different kind of names one of them being cottage core and the other one being academia um dark academia but after looking it up I don't think myself specifically falls under dark academia but basically it's a mixture of that and I'm like I can see that because literally a lot of the items that I have in my closet I can dress them up to look like that and I kind of do dress like that but yeah basically that's kind of what I want to do with this video I want to explain what academia is like what is this aesthetic not just like in fashion sense but like the aesthetic in general like what it actually is and then kind of figuring out truly like what academia academia oh my god I'm gonna like be going back and forth pronouncing it what academia my style is I feel like I'm not like I haven't been looking at the camera this whole time. I am currently right now in my PJs. These are my PJs. I'm wearing some sweats. And that's because I didn't want to show y'all how I would dress once I found out what academia what my academia is. So like I have some ideas of what I can possibly wear, but I truly want to see like what my results are. I'm just like, let's start clean, you know, let's start fresh. I kept seeing it on like my feed on Instagram and I kept getting videos recommended on YouTube and I'm like, you know what? I relate with this a lot because, okay, we're going to get off topic. This video is going to be all over the place. So just bear with me. I feel like I have two sides to me, which makes sense for some people because I'm a Gemini. So most people will be like, yeah, you have multiple personalities or like something like that. Okay, whatever. So most of you see me as this like preppy hype girl is how I tend to portray myself a lot in general so this is more of a this is like definitely a personality I feel very comfortable this is how I am around my friends around my parents and stuff like that around my partner actually my partner has seen multiple sides of me the side that a lot of people haven't seen is the side that I gravitated more towards when I was in high school which tend to be although I was still very social because I'm a very social person I was more like, I just didn't want to make new friends. I didn't want to be with anyone. I didn't want to hang out with anyone. And I was just stuck in my this own little world. I gravitated a lot to reading. I did a lot of art, photography. Um, that's when I was getting really into um, historical fiction and like classic novels because of my AP literature classes. When I was 19, I really, really got into historical fiction, classic literature as well. I've always been super creative. And lately because of like, you know, the weather changing, it's gloomy a lot of the times, it's cloudy. All I wanna do is just like, keep like, you know, right and just drink some coffee drink some tea be comfy not socialize with anyone not really want to interact with anyone so there's just this like other side of me that most of you haven't seen i have previously mentioned that i like to write but that's about it so i thought it'd be interesting to show you this other side of me that was a very long <laughs> explanation oh my god okay Let's start off with what academia actually is, like what is the aesthetic? So the word academia itself means the environment or community concerned with the pursuit of research, education, and scholarships. 
This definition comes from the Oxford languages. So academia itself is an actual word. It, it's a noun, so it's a thing. Basically, it just revolves around the idea of scholarly community, trying to pursue education, creativity, knowledge, research, and stuff like that. Oh, I wish that was popular when I was in high school. But the academia aesthetic itself revolves a lot around classic literature, the pursuit of self-discovery, and a general passion for knowledge and learning. Again, revolves around the whole scholarly idea. It's school is cool now, <laughs> basically. Within academia, apparently there's subcategories, which I had no idea. This is so complex. But there's multiple sub subcategories, the main four being dark academia, this cottage core academia, light academia. Oh, and I forgot to mention classic academia, which tends to be a mixture of like everything. Yeah, the reason why I really enjoy this aesthetic is because it's things that I have already am interested in and it's fashion that I already gravitate to, but more in like the less I'm going to school, more like I'm gonna go work kind of like fashion. So the problem with this aesthetic is that a lot of people are kind of are like scrutinizing over it because of how classist and elitist it can be. And I can kind of see why a lot of the aesthetic itself tends to like revolve around like private schools and like cliques and stuff like that. And then just having this like attitude of being superior to other people. Another thing is that a lot of people feel like this aesthetic can be very like Eurocentric. And I mean, it makes sense again, because that's kind of like where it originates, it like roots from. But you're also able to kind of put your own culture to it, your own style to it, which is what I like about this trend, about this aesthetic, is that although it's very grouped, you're still able to change it and adjust it to your own lifestyle. So definitely just keep in mind to make sure that if you are like following this trend or this aesthetic, to like take it in a positive note, to not exclude it anyone from it okay next part so this next part is the part i'm a little bit more excited for i want to figure out what my academia aesthetic is right now the one that's most popular most trending is dark academia i feel like i can just be a mixture of all of them i like light i like dark we'll see what what actually is supposed to be my aesthetic and then we'll put up together an outfit okay so this first test is what type of academia is truly your aesthetic it says so you've heard about academia aesthetic focus on literature and poetry but what kind of academic are you chaotic modern dark light etc um i'm gonna go ahead and take this and i'm actually gonna end up taking two and in case you didn't know how to spell my name that's how you spell my name what is your favorite color i like every color creams and whites maybe pastels too black and red gray dark blue and red white and gray maybe light blue dark green and purple only neutral colors see i like the cream colors but i like brown colors i really like brown colors like earthy colors i'm not a huge fan of pastels i like black and gray a lot i think i'm gonna do neutral colors because i feel like that's the closest one how late would you stay up reading oh my god i've told y'all stories about this before <laughs> um yeah i sometimes oh i stayed up so so late and my mom would get mad at me and i'm pretty sure that's why i kind of went a little bit blind and even now like i can stay up all night reading so so yeah if it's a good book i won't sleep basically what would be your go-to genre if you were bored romance horror mystery some classic literature a play i'm never bored a grim 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 i can't say that word but i know what that means do i have a favorite genre i feel like I'm a sucker for romance books. I love romance books, but personally me, I like to write horror, horror, like thriller, like mystery kind of books. I love classic literature too though. Like ugh, just the way people, oh man. Can I have like all of the above? Okay, my go-to genre would be romance though. Do you write poetry? Yeah, I do. Poetry is really my thing. No, I just read it. Okay, so I've gotten feedback on my writing and a lot of people say it's very poetic. Um, I do write poetry too though. So I feel like, yeah, I'm gonna put, yeah. Yeah, I do write poetry. What is your favorite kind of music? Pop, jazz, K-pop or J-pop? I don't listen to music too much flamenco musicals classical music i like r&b <laughs> and like tyler the creator and those people what'd you say about rockhampton would that count as pop i listen to, to a lot of classical music when i'm doing homework though i also like to listen to lo-fi beats when i'm working i'm gonna do pop what kind of pets do you want to have all the pets maybe a dog or cat some exotic and rare like a special bird 
a fish or two, a reptile. I want a dog. I love dogs, but I want a horse. But I want a snake or like a tarantula. But here's my thing with exotic animals. I don't agree with that trade. Like I, I feel like it's cruel to take away an animal from its habitat to keep it as a pet. So definitely not. I'm just gonna do like a dog. What's your opinion on politics? Sorry if you disagree with me, but that's just my opinion. Have you ever been in love? Yes, I am right now. But it's funny because when I was younger, I used to think this, that love was just a combination of lust and obsession. And I feel like the word love itself has just lost a lot of meaning. And I definitely feel like right now, my love for my partner is something that I've never experienced before, so. I'm usually the one that does that. <laughs> Yeah, let's do poke pokes to you too. Cause that I would have done that question first. Let's see. I'm a classic academia. I, I knew it. I knew it. Because I just kind of gravitate towards everything in a mesh. Okay, let's see what it let's see what it says. Classic academia. You're a classic academia. You're a very diverse person. You read all kinds of books, wear all kind of clothing, and are generally a hard to read person. I don't know if I'm hard to read, but I can see how I'm like just very diverse because in my life in general, I'm very diverse, I'm a very creative person, but I'm a very logical person. I really like, I really enjoy math and puzzles and stuff like that, but I love to write and do and like read and things like that. I'm like opposites. Maybe it's the Gemini in me. I don't know. I don't really follow astrology like that, but yeah, I agree with that. I feel like I am. Let's go to the other quiz, which is light academia or dark academia. And this is a Buzzfeed one. Pick an outfit for school. I wish I had like the whole outfit. They're just showing me the top. Mm, I like this one though. Okay. Pick a castle. I like this one. Pick a word. Feather, maple, fl I don't understand how this is gonna, okay, anyway. Feather, maple, floating, dripping. I like dripping. It sounds very, like I can use it in a very like, oh, I could feel the water dripping down my head. I don't know. <laughs> I can't think in the spot. I'm better at writing than like reciting in person. Pick an activity. Why do I do this to me? <laughs> okay, fun fact, I did ballet when I was younger in case you didn't know. So I did all of these things and I love all of these things. I can't choose just one. I love to paint and I love to dance. And I love photography, like photography, oh, passion of mine. But writing, writing. <sighs> Yep, let's do writing. Pick a picture. I really like the black and white picture. I like the, I just like the black and white picture. I like that the person's in the quarter, corner, so they're not in the center quadrant. They're like on the right. And you can see that like it's, they're in the bus because of how deep and so I don't know. I just like the lines and everything. It like draws your attention to the person and then makes you like look all the way to the back. What do you like to read? Romance novels, mysteries, dramas, poetry. I'm gonna do romance novels. Pick a book. Death po, oh, I mean, okay. A lot of people are saying that's a good book and <laughs> I'm not an academic academia person because I haven't read this, but I've never read The Dead Poets Society. I heard it's a really good book though. Pride and Prejudice. I have that book and I love that book and I read it so many times. Not my favorite, but out of all of this, I definitely feel, um, yeah, I definitely feel like Pride and Prejudice is my go-to here. And finally, what language do you want to study? Why do they do this to me? <laughs> Okay, I've always wanted to study Latin. I think it's really, really cool, but there's no use for, for it basically. I'm gonna do French because I'm basic like that. I wanna learn French, I guess. No, I'm not saying French is basic. I think French is a beautiful language, but so is Italian. But Italian is very similar to Portuguese and Spanish, which I know. So I wanna do French because it's a little bit different just to give it, it's still, a, a romance language or a romantic language. I forgot what it's called. We're doing French. Oh, so I got my result. Between light or dark, I'm a light academia. It says, you have a passion for classical literature and fine art. You would love nothing more than to sit under a big tree and write poetry. You appreciate the little things in life and you always pay attention to detail. Yeah, that sounds about right. I feel like I tend to be more like optimistic. Um, I've definitely been more appreciative of the small things. I like to listen to the small things like of other people. That's actually how I give things to people. I like to know little small things that will make their day. Between dark and light, I gravitate more to light. But overall, my academia aesthetic would be classic academia. Neutral colored tones, very like browns and beige and creams is what I'm looking at. And 
because my other quiz came out as light, I'm definitely gonna gravitate more to the light colors if I can. It's a lot of trousers and plaid and like wool and just very like Oxfordish kind of vibes going on there. And I really, I really like this whole vibe going on there. Let's dress up like classic academia. put together two outfits even though I could have probably put three or four so yeah that was me as my classic academia I definitely feel like I dress a lot more like that I really enjoy that fashion style I feel like I did put a little bit more of my own twist so I actually these are prescription glasses they're not fake glasses these are my old glasses though wow the glare hold up let me take them off these are my old glasses though so they i don't use them as much i use them when i can't find my other glasses um i'm pretty sure just glasses in general would have fit the um that whole like academia aesthetic but i felt like those gold ones gave it a little bit more of a vintage look but yeah, I hope you like this video. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and click that like button. If you haven't done so already, go ahead and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can get notified of when I upload my videos. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you have a beautiful day and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.